This video tutorial is all about plant responses to the environment and specifically about tropisms and nastic responses. Now on the slide in front of you, you should see five sort of Latin root um, stems for words. Do you recognize any of these? And if so, what do you think each one means? Now, hopefully all of you are familiar with the top left one, photo, um, meaning light, and perhaps hydro as well, meaning water. Geo, um, some people um, sometimes incorrectly guess that it's ground. In fact, it's actually gravity. Chemo, chemical, and figmo, touch. Understanding of these root words is going to help us as we look at um, these terms here. So these are all different types of tropisms. A tropism is essentially a directional growth response in a plant. Phototropism can be either positive or negative. And that's the same with each of those tropisms. Tropisms can either be positive or negative. Positive meaning towards, negative meaning away from. So for example, a positive phototropic response would be for shoots to ensure that they grow towards light for energy for photosynthesis. Um, geotropism, a negative geotropic response for shoots um, would mean that the shoot grows away from gravity Whereas a positive geotropic response, for example, in roots, ensures that the root grows towards gravity. So overall, that positive and negative response of the shoot and root respectively ensures that a seed germinates or when it germinates and the shoot grows up and the roots grow down. For hydrotropism, um, a positive response, for example, in the root tips, increases access to water as they grow towards water. For thigmotropism, um, that's a response to touch, and that's going to be really important for climbing plants. And finally, chemotropism. So we've got certain chemical tissues, for example, pollen tubes, that will grow down stigma due to chemotropism. On this slide, um, you'll see three different um, links there. I encourage you to click on them um, and watch the YouTube videos um, associated. The second type of growth response that you need to be aware of in plants is the nastic response. These are non-directional growth responses. Now, these are different to the tropisms because they are temporary and um, they are non-directional um, and they're often really, really rapid. So if you took a plant and placed it on your windowsill, for example, because of phototropism, you would see the shoots starting to grow towards the light. So the plant essentially would start bending towards the window, towards where the sun is shining from. In comparison, we don't have that directional response here. And rather than you know, that phototropic response that might take the whole day, these nastic responses are instant, really, really quick. You're probably most familiar with the Venus flytrap. The Venus flytrap, um, when you have an organism, for example, um, in, this, in this case, it's like a little um, bug, a little worm, if you have a fly, um, that triggers a couple of the hairs within the Venus flytrap, it will cause the Venus flytrap fly trap to snap shut really, really quickly. And these are carnivorous plants, so they're able to then digest the organism inside them um, and use that for nutrients to grow. Now, usually the reason why these are so quick and the way that they work is um, because of the movement of water, rapid movement of water from certain areas. Plants are always um, also able to respond to threat via different chemicals. Now, perhaps you're most familiar with pheromones because we talk about them with reference to animals as well. Um, so pheromones can be released by plants um, that can elicit, and these can elicit a response in other plants or organisms, much as you know, humans, we can release pheromones and they have an impact on other organisms. Um, tannins, tannins are chemicals with a really bitter taste, um, which puts the animals off from eating the leaves. They're toxic to insects um, and they bind directly with the enzymes in their saliva to inactivate them. 
Alkaloids, um, also bitter tasting, they affect the metabolism of organisms and poison them. So an example of this is caffeine is toxic to fungi and insects and can prevent germination of other seeds. The final chemical listed there, um, or number three, is terpenoids. I can never say that properly, um, but they form part of the um, essential oils in plants. Um, and uh, yeah, they can also repel um, insects. Now today, um, I'm gonna encourage you to click on all the links throughout this presentation, um, watch those links to learn a little bit more about the tropisms and nastic responses. Um, and then there is a worksheet associated as well.